Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Moodle for Teacher admin course that is starting this week. If you haven't already done so, uh, this is the course page. Please introduce yourself. Okay, as you can see, there's left, right, and center. The left and right are the blocks and you can uh, move whatever is on the left to the right and vice versa. So I'm taking you through the uh, center right now and the different sections. Here's a little introduction, so click on it and let's begin. Week one is managing the administrator settings. And these are some of the areas that we'll be looking at. So first thing is to introduce yourself just above the number one section, which is the zero section or the pre. Okay, so go into the introductions, introduce yourself, respond to each other. Feel that you're an online student, get the feel of it. You'll soon be the admin. And I'll take you through the labs, okay, two labs. So let's start a little bit with section one. Before we go into the lab, we're going to look at section one. Now, what is section one? What does it mean, the admin settings? These are some of the features that you'll get as an admin. What I'd like you to do is be active. In other words, what do you know about it so far? And you can peek, you can check, that's fine. But try to fill in the graph, okay, the table. So what do you know? Next, what do you want to know? How will you find it? In other words, where? And then, what did you learn? And then actually we start, it's cyclic, we start again with what do you know? Once you learn, you start the whole process over again. And that's how you develop your knowledge. So let's go into the site administration. And if I flip it up, okay, right there, this is what I get. So let me just um, provide you with a little bit of uh, highlight here. We're looking at the site administration. And these are the features, okay? And we're going to look at each one of them. But there are other administration. Every activity, for example, right here, look what it says, course administration. Every activity on the Moodle has administration to it. Okay? Now, on the left, notice if you're used to 1.9, you will not see this. There's navigation. Okay, this was added. You'll be able to compare it when we go into the lab. So let me go down and take you to the labs. So you can practice as you go and explore. So first, let's go into the 1.9. I'll be uh, enrolling you with fictitious um, usernames. And I'll let you know what they are soon enough. Okay, so patience. Week one is orientation. You'll have to take a good look at what the site administration looks like before you go in here. All right, so this is the uh, Moodle 1.9. Right now, this is the color. You'll be changing it. This is what previous participants did. So first of all, I'm going to log in. Okay, that's my login details. And here we are. All right, so you're going to be admins by default. So the first thing you'll do as an admin is turn editing on. Not that you have to, because as admins, you don't need to do that. Okay, next, you're going to look for the site administration. So where is the site administration? Is it in the blocks? Under settings? No. And the reason is that this is 1.9. 1.9 has something else. OK, 
Okay, so here we go. Here is the site administration. It looks a bit different. There we go. Same features, but a little bit different. Okay, so we're going to start from the top down. So we'll start with users. Okay, and we'll learn about users. Okay, because I want to enroll you. So let's get started with that. All right, so I'll click on users. And what I want to do is I want to go into accounts. Now think about it, why am I going into accounts? Okay, I want to enroll you. Okay, I want to add new users. I can also upload the users, but this time I'm going to do it this way. Okay, add a new user because I want to make sure that I'm in control. Look at these other things that we'll be looking at. Okay, courses, grades, and so on, but one at a time. So uh, I'm going to go into add a new user. Write your username, your password, okay, your real name, surname, but I'll give you a fictitious email because we want to keep this site as protected as possible because you'll be admins and we don't want anything to happen. We don't want anyone to come in here but you, okay? So, um, I'll fill this in and then update it. Once I update it, okay, I'll go back and I'm going to give permissions. I'm going to assign system roles right here. Right now, it's me and admin. So I'll be going into this administrator let me just go there again so you get a nice view of it. And this is what you'll be doing. Okay, if you're going to add someone else to be admin or teachers to their courses, but we'll get to that. Let's just add you as admin. So once I enroll you or register you, okay, as a new user to the site, I'll go into Administrator, and there'll be a list, but if not, I'll just add your name. Uh, right now, there isn't anyone here, but let me just add Elizabeth, because I noticed her name was there. Let's see if there's anyone here. No one. Okay, zero potential users. But this will fill up very quickly once you add, add you, and then we'll be able to continue. All right, so I'm going to stop now with this 1.9 and go into the lab for 2.0, okay, which is right here. Okay, as you can see, I'm logged in already. Now look at the difference. Okay, this is the Moodle 2.0. I'm scrolling down to the navigation and the settings. Now notice what's over here. It's a lot easier to maneuver. I really recommend working with 2.0 plus and not with 1.9. Okay, so here's the site administration. I'm going to click on that. Okay, site administration, and there it is. Okay, next, I'm going to go to users. I'm right now on 2.2. .2. Okay, users. Click on the users, and then I'm going to go into accounts. Okay, so I'll click on accounts, and then I can do all this, but I want to add a new user. Okay, so I'm going to click on add a new user. Notice permission is just down here, so it's very similar. It's just that the navigation on the 2.0 plus is much better. It's a lot easier to navigate and find things. Okay, so let me uh, go into add a new user 
and then you'll find your way around. But I think it's a lot easier to go from 2 point plus to 1.9 and go from 1.9 to 2. Okay, so add a new user. Okay, same way. Okay, it's exactly the same. So I fill this in. Next, I'm going to permissions. Okay, so uh, permission is just under over here. Okay, you'll get to it. Once you practice, it'll become easy because you'll be accustomed to doing the same thing over and over again. And practice really does make perfect. Okay, so I'm going to add click on permissions and then I've got different kinds. I'm going to assign system. Okay, same thing. Assign system rules. If I want to make changes, but that's wrong. Okay, I have to go into site administrators because I want to not assign new roles. I want to get the administrators into the course. Okay, so let me erase that and correct it. This is what I want. Site administrators. Okay, so I'll go into site administrators. Again, if you forget anything, I'll show you where the search is for the admins. So you can always write things down and you'll get them. All right, so right now, you see, that's it. Same thing. No difference. Now let me show you where the search is right here. So if I write admin, okay, I just go into search and I get everything for the admin. Okay, here we go. Enable portfolios, administer. Every time there's an admin, I'll get it. So here it is again. Let me show you where that is. Okay, this is a very handy tool. You don't have to remember anything. Just write down what you need and you'll find it. It'll appear right here. Okay, over here, over here. And there'll be more down there. All right, so I hope this has been of help. I suggest you really try these tools. Uh, this is Screen-O-Matic. It's free and it's a great tool. You have both drawings and videos. You can create screenshots and videos based on your screenshots. So I'm looking forward to questions from you. Don't forget to go into the support. If you go back to the course and ask your questions. Thank you.